name is Ryan Muscroft, I'm 20. I'm currently doing an electromechanical apprenticeship at RF Fallingdales. Before I started my apprenticeship, I was just working part time, trying to look around for an apprenticeship and a chance to get a trade. I found out about the Circo Vocational Services by looking on the National Apprenticeships website and I saw the adverts for this job and another job and I decided that this one suited me of what I wanted. The thing that really appealed to me about apprenticeships was the chance to earn whilst I learn and get some real life experience of on the job before I'm qualified and be able to go independently. My apprenticeship has improved me by the fact that I have more confidence. My skills that I already had I've developed further and I just generally feel that I have greater knowledge of my interest and my uh, potential career. I'd say my greatest success is I've settled in at college and in the workplace and I feel like I'm part of the part of the team and I've got the confidence to go and do a job on my own whereas when I first started I relied on other people to show me but now I had the skills and knowledge myself. The most rewarding part of my apprenticeship is the fact that I'll come out of my time hopefully qualified and competent and looking at the potential to get a job within our filing deals. My journey to an apprentice was I spotted the advert on the apprenticeship website and then I applied, put my CV in the application, to which I got a letter back saying that I had an interview date. I came for the day with, I think there was about 20 other people there with me. We did the tests originally to which five people got through to an interview stage, which I was one of. We did the interviews with my team leader and another manager that's on site. And then from there we went away, which we got a phone call telling me there was me and another person being lined up for the role. We had to come back and do a trial day each, and then from there they would decide. So I came up for the trial day, went away for a week or so, and got the phone call telling me that I got the job. I'd encourage someone my age just to keep looking every day for apprenticeships, find out the companies that do what you want to do, contact them, put your CV in, let them know that you're available and you're willing to work and you want the job if it comes up. If I didn't get an apprenticeship, I think I'd have looked down the route of going to university and trying to go through the full-time education route, but ideally it wasn't for me because I prefer to be hands-on in my approach and learn things by doing them.